हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज संजय कुमार क्रिएटर ऑफ सेलेक्टर्स ऑफ एंड टेस्ट केस स्टूडियो द वेरी जेन्यन क्वेश्चन लाइक व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टेस्ट केस स्टूडियो एंड अदर रिकॉर्डर्स प्लग इन लाइक सेलेनियम आईडी कैटलॉन रिकॉर्डर एंड देयर आर सो मेनी अदर प्लग इन्स एज वेल सो यस देयर आर देयर इज अ ह्यूज डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज प्लग इन्स एंड टेस्ट केस स्टूडियो test case test case studio is a free browser plugin and the very simple plugin you just have to do one click and it start things what it supposed to do so let's see what are the differences test case studio and selenium id other plugins test case studio writes the user action in plain english while other plugins used to record the script for your actions like what you have performed on the web application like you right click or you search or you click something like that so uh, let me just start these plugins as well and we'll see like what we perform and how they record the actions so uh, for an example we'll take a very sim simple example the google search one so open google.com and then uh, let's start this uh, these plugins so the first one let's say select uh, this is test case studio logo so when we click on this it open the test case studio window this is the test case studio window second let me start catalon recorder so this is catalon recorder started and then uh, we open the selenium ide so click on this and okay so this asks few of the details here let's say project name we'll give the demo Web URL, base URL. So the URL I have already copied. Google.com and start recording. So this is Selenium IDE recording is recording here. This is Catalon Studio. So we will have to start like one more click. We will have to perform. So we'll have to click on this. Then Catalon Studio recording recording is started. While for test case Studio only this click was required here and it already started. So let's see now if we perform the search. Google search. Let's say our test case is Google search. So what we do, we type it here like selectors hub, selectors hub, and press enter. Okay. So this is what we have done. Very simple test case, Google search. So let's see what test case studio has recorded. So test case studio. If you see here. Open website google.com. Enter search. We entered selectors up, and this is the X path, and this is CSS selector, which is very much robust. You can see that, which can be used relative, and then we press enter. Okay, so this is the uh, test case test steps converted in plain English by selectors up. And in fact, like if we right click here. And that will also be recorded here. Like right click on selectors up. This is the X bar. This is the CSS selector for that. So this is these are the steps which has been you see that very plain English. Like anybody can understand those who knows the programming or other thing etc. So this one is test case studio. Let's see what has happened at Catalon Recorder. This is Catalon Recorder. So it has recorded. Open this one, Google search. Then click, then click, then submit, then click. So it it is basically like more or on like a, a script they have written, which can be like if we stop it, we can play this again. So this is like play, but here it doesn't look like a plain English. So this is basically it does the uh, like here you can record the test case and uh, record the script for the actions. And then you can play it again. Okay, let's do the same thing on uh, Selenium IDE. So for Selenium IDE, they used to it used to open a separate window. So here we have open Google.com. Then we search for selectors up, press enter, and then let's say right click as well on this. So these many actions we have performed. Now let's see what has been recorded at Selenium IDE window. This is Selenium IDE window. So if you see that here, what has been recorded here is like open this target set window size, click happen, type happen, send keys. So this is again like very much kind of like uh, a script has been recorded. And here you can see that uh, it's not like plain English that one can understand those who are not under able to understand the programming. So this is what it has recorded. Again, here you can stop it recording and then you will have to give the test case name, let's say test. And then uh, you can 
play it again basically so so these are the difference so like now you see that all three windows here this is selenium ide open this is catalon recorder and this this is test case studio so if you like look at this one selenium uh, test case studio it gives you in very plain english sentence like which can be easily understand open website enter search hit enter press enter then we press enter then we right click on where we right click basically very much like manual test case while here it is like very much talking in terms of uh, programming language like open and then this set window size this click here where to click like all those things and then here this is catalon one so here also it's like very much similar to selenium id that click then submit then click etc so this is what like the basic difference and then uh, the same you can save the test case and can be referred anytime to test the functionality or reproduce the bug so if you see that the <clears throat> this one you can save this test case and at any point of time you can refer this test case to reproduce the bug or as a manual test case or you can share it with your developer manager they can easily understand that what it is what you have done to test this functionality while other like click on this one submit this one like hardly one would be able to understand who is not from the programming background so this is kind of like more or on like scripting and it cannot be referred as a like to reproduce the bug like if you face some bug while doing this testing you cannot one cannot refer these steps to like reproduce that bug mostly recorded in a script format like in this as you see as you have seen that these are recorded mostly as a script what test is test case studio does it generates the robust relative xpath and relative css selectors with selectors uh, hub algorithm which can be used in automation script absolutely so you see that the like uh, kind of xpath and css selectors generated here it's very much like robust and uh, unique and uh, relative basically which can be like very much of which are very much optimized and you can rely on them they are not absolute while if you see look at the uh, selenium ide one so uh, most of them has name has been recorded and uh, like if xpath has been recorded that also goes with the like very much not robust one which can be referred so compared to uh, like what selectors have has generated that's like very much robust and unique because uh, what it has like name is equal to q it is like very much dynamic because this q and all they can be uh, changed but if what selectors have had generated xpath if you look at this one that normalizes space is equal to search and it has used the title which very much referred and one can easily understand okay this is the xpath for this element but name is equal to q that is like hardly to understand what locator for which element is that one this then uh it is very helpful to reproduce the bugs with recorded uh readable sentences while they generate like other plugin generates the script format anyone can understand and download the test case from test case studio and no programming language is required to understand it of course so as you can see that anybody can understand the test case studio uh these sentences and can easily perform another test case whether he's fresher or whether he's having the programming language whether he knows about the selenium script etc doesn't require any programming language test case studio is not a record and play tool yes so in test case studio you can save this test case but you cannot like play it again while in other plugins you can do that but most of the time as you know that locators get changed and other stuff happen so these test case used to be like break and we cannot rely on them so that is where like test case studio doesn't provide that functionality that you uh, right now it doesn't provide that functionality that you record and play because it doesn't give you the script it has the feature to generate xpath and css selector with desired attribute as well so like if you doesn't want to the xpath with title or with text uh, this one like it is generated with text so if you doesn't want to generate that it has the filters here that you can just click on here whichever attribute you want you can just uncheck that and it will not generate with that so all the, uh, the that feature is here it has feature to generate the customized locator command like let's say you want uh, you are working with selenium 
then you want the selenium command here so like driver dot find element this command could be anything like uh, find by element something like that so any could anything could be there this one you can replace like if suppose you are writing in cypress so cy dot get then you can change so here it will generate the css selector with that so those things are there and here you can refer easily like what is the reference between what test case studio again i have added this screenshot so yes there is a huge difference between test case studio and what other plugins does each one has its own uh, advantage and they have been developed for different purpose other recorded plugins and test case so does the test case studio has been uh, developed for the different purpose so the purpose of like other recorder plugins has been like uh, the selenium id is like wonderful tool so the purpose of that is like you can record any uh, record your actions and then play it again to see that what you have done while test case studio the purpose of test case studio is you record the user action in plain english so that you can refer it as a document and at any point of time like if you want to reproduce the bug if you want to share the uh, steps with your developer or tester or some manager then you can refer those as a document so these are the uh, some major difference between uh, test case studio and other recorder plugins i'm making this video with a uh, test case studio version 1.0.2 of course there are uh, more amazing features are in pipeline which you will see in coming uh, updates in coming versions so stay tuned guys and let me know your thoughts and if you find any other difference please let me know there could there are like n number of differences these are the major difference which I could figure it out and uh, document it. There could be more. There might be some similarities as well, of course. But uh, because all these are the browser plugins and free plugins, so yes. But at the same time, all have their uh, advantages, disadvantages, and the requirements like what requirements you have, what requirements others have. So that will be there. All are great plugins. All are solving and saving time for our community testers and developers and helping with that thank you thank you so much please subscribe to the channel like this video and share with others so others get to know about these awesome plugins and they can save their time with that thank you thank you so much